Hey high school, welcome to the third installment of the month. Today, I'm your host, Nikhil Budadev, and we'll be covering the articles written by The Beacon. First, we have an article by Stephen Joe. Stephen has uh, seen to be in phase with the school as he's been writing about the yellow building. The yellow building has been standing there for years, but the theater inside hasn't yet been built. The completion of this theater will open the gates to more theater enthusiasts and shows at our school. We asked a few students around the school about their thoughts and views on this. Uh, I don't have any opinion because I don't think we, our school have a theater. Yeah. What are, you, what are your opinion about the slowing of the, the hindering of the construction of the theater? Oh, it's super annoying because like my parents paid school fees and then they support like the building of the theater, but then nothing happened, and I'm graduating, and I'll never see the theater eventually. So, yeah. All right. Well. Um, it seems that things are moving forward with the theater. I think um, it's about time that we do something about it. I've seen the inside and uh, all new teachers are shown the inside and it's, uh, it's not complete at all right now. So the, the, the fact that the plants are actually moving forward and we have uh, constant updates on it, I think is more reassuring. Um, I do hope the theater will be built within the next three years, but things uh, take a while sometimes. So yeah, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. What's up, dude? <laughs> I don't know, it feels kind of uh, empty, you know? It feels just as an unfinished kind of uh, feeling to it. I don't know, yeah. Wait, wait, which theater are you talking about? Yeah. Is it, you mean the Shanghai one? The, I think they have a nice theater back there. In their show. That theater over there? Yeah. Wait, what is this video about? That, that empty room in there, over there? What is this video about? The theater. The theater. theater. What? What theater? What theater? Yeah. What theater? <laughs> I asked the same question. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of confused what we're talking about yeah. right here. Uh, like the black box theater? Um, I didn't actually know it was being constructed until recently, but I think it's a good step that um, our school is making steps to improve infrastructure, I guess. Yeah, it's a good thing. The next article is one written by Michelle Ju. Since last year, grade 10 students have been having an annual speech competition where they choose a topic of significance, write an essay, and then present a speech to their classmates. Out of the many, only seven are chosen to give a speech at the Garden Hotel of Guangzhou. This is a great, it's a really big opportunity for them and it gives them a lot of experience. On May the 11th, these speeches were performed and enjoyed by all that were present at the Garden Hotel. You can read more about this on the Beacon. The next article is written by Hannah Ng. Survival Week has begun. There are students going head to head for various challenges to win themselves an opportunity of their lives. To be the principal for half a day even though this may seem a very short period of time, imagine all the things you could accomplish. Early release, no homework, open gym for the juniors maybe? Moving ahead, we have our new Stuco exec president, Helen Liao. The new polls have been made. Sophie Elliott gives us a brighter insight on this. Take a look at her article on the Beacon. Next, Jin has been holding an annual jagathon since last year, raising money for girls in Xiaoguan. On May 14th, the second annual jagathon was held. There is no other better deed than to bring a smile on another's face. Jin is doing exactly that. Funding school for girls for three years is no easy job. We interviewed Jin member here to get a little insight. So how was the Jin job? Dude, well, you could like ask anyone who went. <laughs> um, it was good, even though we hoped that there would be more middle schoolers. Okay. And yeah, it was mostly juniors. Last year, with the Jin Jagathon alone, 62,000 RMB were raised. This was enough to raise money for education for 25 girls in Xiaoguan. Exercising for education it is. And now, we have an unfunny IB skit for our viewers. <clears throat> hey man, I just got out of court. I gotta do 40 hours of community service. 40? I have to do 150. What did you do, man? I take IB, man. What up, yo? Uh, yeah, this is a monthly publication. You know, as we've been rolling back, you know, we've been doing a couple publications, so why don't you check us out, you know, on Facebook or the Beacon. Shout out, yo. Go Rams. <laughs> what do you call a hey, hey. <laughs> Okay, um, what? Okay, what's the bear? Wait, 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 wait,
Yeah. Um, I'd say in the size of 